Welcome to the Autocracy Show on today's episode. Going to a conference? What should I do? We've got tips. We'll be right back. Welcome back, I'm David Landine. And I'm JD Melville, and welcome to the Autocracy Show, where we geek over advertising, marketing, art, and design. Now, uh, just make sure you tune in on Friday, where we're going to announce the winner of our 100 for 100 contest. Yeah. Um, it'll be a huge surprise. Yeah. Big upsets. I mean, just like, just craziness all around. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, so, we are, this last week mm-hmm. was... Was a How Design. Yeah, How Design Conference in Chicago. Which, if you haven't seen our Chicago episode, you could take that out. Take check check that out. Here's a here's a link. Yeah. Um, I have my own sound effect for when a link pops up. That was my sound effect. That's right. Mine's yeah. a ding. I know. I, and that probably is more accurate, but mine's a. All right. So uh, in Chicago, so if you've gone to a conference like How Design or NAB or Photoshop World. Um, it can kind of be stressful. It can be. It can be overwhelming. Um, first timers, you may have no idea. No, yeah, you don't know what you're getting into. Because or, or even like the, I mean, even like the the seasoned veterans sometimes may may still feel like overwhelmed about about these conferences. Yeah, because there's lots of choices. There's a lot of things to do, and I, I mean, I think the thing is the unknown, right? I mean, you're. If you've gone to a conference before, you kind of have experienced it. You kind of know what to expect, yeah. at least the structure of it. Yeah. So we are here to give you tips, and I know it might be too late for all you how design people, but we are here right. to give you tips about when you go to your next conference, what you should, shouldn't do, um, some pros and cons, some good yeah. versus bad. Well, and, and those who, do, who have just come off a, a design conference, put down in the comments below anything that uh, you thought that you should that should be better. Um, I know that someone was really interested in the sounding of the jingling of the, uh, the lanyards. Oh, wow. Yeah, well. Someone was really upset about that. Well, that's just... I was following how very closely. Okay, so first, don't overbook yourself. Mm-hmm. Most of these conferences have a lot of classes and seminars, and they're great ways to learn how to do new things. Um, but a rookie mistake is thinking that these classes are the only way to learn at these conferences, and that the only reason that you are here. So the seasoned veteran knows to sign up for classes that that they want to take yep. they, they they like not all but you don't have to take every single class out there that's the rookie mistake it's time for every single thing and overbook yourself so your day is full of classes you don't leave any time for anything else um which can really weigh on you and then you end up just you don't you, yeah. you don't have that time to like ab- absorb what you just learned um yeah, so there's a lot of back to back i mean the, yeah in a lot of times it's a very packed schedule yeah and so uh you sign for all the classes but sign up for classes that seem most interesting to you. Yeah. If, if there's an hour where you're like, there's nothing here, it's okay to just take that, take a break and not take a class during that hour or half hour or whatever it is. Um, and that leaves time to do the next tip. Well, and along with that, um, you will want to kind of make sure that you look at things before. Yeah. Delve into deep. I mean, if you get there and you're like, okay, I'm going to pick what I'm going to without knowing who or what or why. Absolutely, make you, a schedule. You may miss something that you think that would have been great for you, but you just kind of picked wrong. Yeah. Um, so our, our next tip is network like nobody is watching. I don't, I don't know. What, I mean, dance like nobody's watching. Network like nobody's watching. like. But everyone's watching if you're networking. Yeah, because you're talking I, I know that's everybody. confusing. Anyway, uh, this is an incredible chance to meet people. These conferences aren't your like typically stuffy... Like maybe you've gone to, you've worked at one or something like that. Um, they're not those usual conferences. They usually include fun and interesting ways to break the ice um, with others. For example, at How, um, one of the networking things was they had these fans and people would write um, a word on it and an action. And they, you know, you had to go around and kind of put it with people, take a picture. There were some hilarious and some highly inappropriate um, responses um, one, but they like one of them was um, unfortunate job titles. Um, <laughs> one was coffee shops that you wouldn't want to go into. It was very creative. Um, so they 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 try to help you break the ice. Now, why in the world would you network? Like, okay, you're a lone designer who freelances. Yeah, you don't need anybody's help. What yeah. what are you networking? For? Why why in the world would you need to network? Um, not only because you may find people that uh, kind of complement your skills and and abilities. Um, 
but you may find a good mentor. Um, you may find people um, that have helpful insights and that can help you further yourself in your business. Um, as well, mm. you may make incredible friends. You may find somebody that you can help. Yeah, yeah, that, absolutely. That, that you can mentor them. I mean, you probably have a lot to, to add to this too. Yeah, these. I mean, these people speak your language. They have the same struggles, the same worries. They're there for the very same reasons. They want to progress themselves, and they're there to have fun. They're creative people. These are the people that you're going to jive with in a big way. I mean, there there, there was, was times when I went to Howe, uh, I think it was like two years ago, um, that it, you know, it was awkward. There's some weird people there. Yeah, there, there are people who don't want to network. and Not everybody's as cool as us. Yeah, not at all. <laughs> um, but it, but it, it, it's all incredibly worthwhile. I mean, sweep the ones that don't seem interested away and find the people that you're going to jive with. I've already made some incredible friends just because... I networked a little. In fact, the first net person that I kind of met, I was sitting there and I was kind of like looking at my schedule and I didn't know where to go. I was, was, you know, new and fresh. And someone walked by and was like, look at all these designers sitting there not talking to each other. Come on, guys, network. And so I like start talking to some people and one lady. And and then another guy I found, he went to the same school as I did. Um, And so we had a lot in common and, and you know, we bonded just incredibly. So... So next up is it's not all about you or at least your trade. Yeah. Um, there are plenty of talks and sessions that focus on how to spice up your craft, thoughts about how to be better in your trade or how to progress in your career. But along with the, those sessions, there are a lot of keynote speakers brought in who are speaking on much broader or even more specific topics that relate to you as a person. So even if they aren't talking about your craft, even if it's not about design or video or, you know, there's still a lot you can learn from those broad keynote speakers. So yeah. make sure you hit, hit those up as well. Um, yeah, I mean, for example, I, at, at, uh, at the one I went to, um, Dr. Brene Brown, who her whole thing is about, you know, all of the stuff that she's got some incredible TED Talks. Um, she talks about vulnerability, and like being vulnerable and what that means and what that does to people. Um, this year they had uh, Amy Cuddy who talked, uh, her TED talk um, is specifically about body language and how your body language um, not only communicates to people, but can your body language um, change how you feel and act? And yes, it can. Oh, I was wrong. Spoiler alert. You're supposed right. to go like this. Power pose. Be a fearless girl. Or pose like the fearless yeah. girl. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but next those, up. The, but those are cool because I yeah. mean they're even they, though they aren't specifically about what you, I mean what you might have gone there to learn. And I wasn't can, expecting it. You know, yeah. it kind of I, I was kind of like, oh man, you just shook my core when I was just thinking design, right? So the next one is get your swag on. Uh, one of my favorite things about conferences is swag. I mean, there is tons of com- like swag to, swag to get. If you're at a conference uh, for your pr- profession, typically there are vendors there. They have, they'll have they have a vendor area where people will pay to be able to get their product in front of you. Um, there are, they are there, of course, to sell a product. So they're trying, they'll, you know, they want your information or want to con- be contacted with someone in your company. Um, but do you have a fake email address to give them? No, I just use my regular one. Especially at um, these conferences, because these conferences um, specifically are our professions. Like yeah. they, the stuff that they're selling, the stuff that they're giving, um, I'm interested in. I want to know about. I want. I mean, they'll have cool things like uh, marketing pieces, T-shirts, pins, cards, promos. I even got socks, um, hats, free trials, subscriptions to their magazine. In fact, um, the uh, Mohawk Maker magazine um which we've had posters of theirs um in our frames before and things like that um i got that at a trade show i subscribed up for that which was it's been great it's been a great subscription um so you'll give them a try or let them contact you later it's fine um but being that it isn't your like typical stuffy conference uh the swag is usually pretty incredible um like you know they're incredible posters i think i saw um a foil like this beautifully foiled uh, French paper company poster that I was just like, oh, I would love one of those. So go nuts. Grab everything you can. I mean, well, unless you're not supposed to grab it. Well, you, you are. You get t shirts. Did, are you, really did cool. you get the foil poster? No, I didn't because I wasn't there. Oh. <laughs> anyway, 
That was um, this year. Okay. <laughs> just walk on, you just grab stuff. Um, see, like at video conferences, I don't dare grab all the cameras because just uh, grab the cameras. <laughs> just take. Oh, all is this swag? <laughs> Thank you, kind <laughs> sir. Maybe that's why they just, have them. Just grab a red. So next up, sometimes it's just their opinion. Mm-hmm. Um, one thing you have to. Re- oh wait, before I move on, I want to just mention that uh, swag. Going to all the booths can actually really pay off because my sister was at a conference and they had this contest about like if you could hit up all the booths, booths so you got into mm-hmm. and drawing, and she actually got a free ticket to the next year's conference. Yeah, which is so like play their games. A you lot know, of it, money. Yeah. It can definitely pay off. All right. T- sometimes it's just their opinion because one thing you have to remember about these talks is that people are coming from much different experiences and backgrounds. Yeah. Their experience may have led them to have what we call here in the industry opinions, and. Uh, thoughts that may not necessarily resonate or agree with what you believe, also known as an opinion. Um, you may feel that they are completely wrong, and that's okay. Um, sometimes it's good to see other points of view, but... Yeah, that can round you out a little yeah, bit. Yeah, totally, and, and you may learn something new or give you an opinion that you hadn't considered before. Um, but, as always, you don't have to agree with them and you don't have to listen. If you find a topic boring or too mundane from where you are then there's different sessions going on yeah. at the same time you can you can move it's okay to get up and leave if it's not working with what you want to learn don't sit through a boring session that's just you're hating <laughs> find something that you are going to like and that you're going to learn from yeah i mean there's you can find some sort of seed of um of truth or something that applies to you or some way that it can help you, of yep. course, in, in pretty much anyone's talk. But, um, you know, if you don't, if you're bored out of your mind and the session next to you sounds like they're having a good time, get up, get out. And dance. And dance. <laughs> so our next tip is to get out, take some time and visit the city that you're in. I mean, you, you're you more than likely not in your own city. A lot of times there are some people who are in their same city, but most of the time you're traveling to a, a different city. That city has lots to offer. There's you know culinary adventures, there's art, there's fun, there's sights to see, buildings that are cool. Um, but there's, I mean, there's a lot to do in a conference, right? And like we've said before, you know, you may find a time that you don't, you know, you don't find anything interesting, you know the typically packed schedule, that's a great time to go outside and do something outside of the conference. Yep. Uh, Take some time, look around, find interesting things to do, plan it into your schedule. I mean, look at when the conference, you know, goes, when you might have some, some free time. Um, Research some food, great food places. That's, that's my thing. Find something yummy to eat. Um, This can continue to make your memorable experience. Um, and uh, it, it can kind of tie you to that city and tie maybe even those um, learning and emotions a little bit more in with what you're learning um, just because you have more emotion to it. So you, can, you can't really appreciate a city unless you experience it. So yeah. get out there. Have fun. Try it. And lastly, have fun. Yeah. These, these conferences aren't, you know, the boring accounting yeah. conferences. Uh, they are, their design, their video, their creativity. They're here to learn. You're here to like experience new things. So make sure you have fun. Yeah. If you're one of those people that's like afraid to have fun or like feel like you can't have fun while you're out on these things, maybe switch your career. Maybe go into a camp. Yeah. They have, maybe they have really boring conferences that you don't have fun at and then that fit you perfect. Let's look at spreadsheet. <laughs> that's what I imagine them like dancing <laughs> because of spreadsheets. Cogs. <laughs> I, I I think so too. Man, look at those cogs! Wow, it cost a good soul. Did, did you see? Did you see how well he had balanced that book? <laughs> Man, what fun did he use for that? Times New Roman, you don't say. <laughs> Your accountant's old timey, apparently. Well, if he was old timey, he wouldn't use a computer. Oh, okay. He'd use a fountain pen. Anyway, uh, yeah. So. Make sure you, you can also hit the after parties. There's after parties at yeah, conferences. Yeah, at How they have one called Pixels of Fury that's put on by Shutterstock. And they basically pit designers against each other. They have two rounds um, where they have sets of three uh, designers and they give them like a task to do within 20 minutes. Okay, make this, make it. And they everyone's cheering for them. There's a party, there's food. 
DJ playing, and then the winners of each of those go off to face each other and win a. An it award. would be even cooler if every like two minutes they had to take a shot. Like they had to, <laughs> and so like this design starts off and just like it's just like, completely you know. incoherent. <laughs> or or even better, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, that's true. Some people get better so with that. those are our tips for how to not just survive but thrive at a conference yeah what are your tips what have you learned i mean you may be new to the whole thing and uh you know what what things do you expect what things did what, you not expect what do you love what do you not love yeah yeah put those in the comments below um if you like what you ha saw here today make sure that you sub click that subscribe button that'll let you know when we have new videos and you can uh, continue to see our videos. Uh, thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to this channel and this video. Yeah, make sure that you join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We're over there talking to people, interacting. If you uh, want to contact us directly, that's a, that's a great place to do it. And to end your... No, not to end your week. It's the middle of the week. It's the middle of the week. <laughs> to, it, should be the, it should be the end of the week. To begin the end of your week, <laughs> here is a video for you to enjoy. I'm so excited. ฉันจะเอาแบบเนี้ยจะได้มีแฟนในเขาสักที